Hi guys, it's me. So welcome to Foundation Friday. This week I am going to be reviewing and applying the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra 24 hour foundation. I am aware that there is a more proper French <laughs> way to pronounce the name of this foundation, but I am not French. I do not speak French. I've never taken a French class, so I cannot tell you how to pronounce it, but to me it says Taint Idol Ultra 24 hour. Um, I've heard Taunt, etc. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that because I have no idea how to pronounce this correctly. <laughs> the shade that I'm wearing is 460 Suede Warm, um, which is a pretty good match for me. When I first got this, I wasn't too sure about the color because I felt like it was a little too... Um, it says it's warm, um, but it seemed a little neutral. And with me, neutral shades tend to make me look a little ruddy, um, but it wasn't. Um, like after I figured out what correct powder I should wear on top or um, primers etc and looked at it in different lighting I actually figured it looked really good um, and I like it a lot. Uh, let's get into the specs of this foundation and I'm sure you can see me applying this. Um, nope, I'll be applying it right here <laughs> I think. Um, yeah, I'll be applying in a little box somewhere around here. Um, but this foundation has a lot of properties. It's supposed to have special pigments in it that stop it from oxidizing throughout the day. Um, it's supposed to be mattifying. I have dry skin, so I don't really need anything to mattify my skin at all. Um, but this supposedly mattifies the skin, but being that I do have dry skin, I did not notice it drying me out. Um, so I'm not sure what that means or if that's just an added benefit where it will keep your skin looking matte but not dry it out because it feels really comfortable on the skin. It feels really silky. Um, it has a velvety, nice texture. It feels almost as if you have nothing on your face at all. It's just like light moisturizer feel, which is great seeing as it does give you coverage. I would say it's a medium to full coverage foundation. They taught this as a full coverage foundation, but I think it's more medium to full and a little bit does go a long way. Um, I used about a little less than one full pump to cover my entire face. And as you can see while I'm applying it, that, that covered a lot, that one little pump pretty much went all over my face. And then once you start blending it in with the brush, it's just it's just flawless with not to use a lot of product which is also good because this is not cheap this bottle of foundation retails for $45 not cheap at all um, but I do think it is worth the money um, yeah it's $45 I have nothing else to say it's not cheap but it works well and I think I will repurchase this once I'm all out of this I've had this since um, last summer summer of 2012 um, and I have not regretted the purchase at all of course at the time I did buy this with a discount um, but in the future if I have to pay full price for it I will because I do like it it's a good foundation I would not say that it lasts 24 hours I feel like I'm all over the place I do not think it lasts 24 hours on the skin um, maybe it will the longest I've ever worn it is about 12 or 14 hours um, and it stayed on my skin, but I do notice that the longer that you wear it, the less transfer resistant it is. Um, it will transfer, which I don't like. I do not like foundations that transfer at all. Um, this one does if you do not set it with anything. Um, I like to set my foundation with a powder. I set this particular foundation with the Bare Minerals Ready SPF. I've tried it with the MAC MSF Natural and it looked cakey and I didn't like it. So I, I prefer something translucent. Um, so I set it with this and that's what I set it with today. And then I just went on top of it after my blush and contour and everything else with the Model in the Bottle Sensitive Skin Formula Spray. I also like Urban Decay's All Nighter Spray but Model in the Bottle is cheaper so I've been buying this lately. Um, yeah. That's another tip. Model and bottle is about half the price of Urban Decay um, in Scandinavia, but that's another story, another review. Um, but yeah, this is the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Foundation. It's a good foundation. It looks good on the skin, as you can see. It gives that flawless 
look. Um, the glow is more from my spray, but this does not give a super matte finish. It gives a demi matte, so you will still have that little bit of glow as well. Um, this is it. This is what it looks like. You can see pictures of it on my face on my blog. And I love you guys. Yes, I do. <laughs> go over to my blog there's a link at the end see pictures um all my links are below for tumblr form spring um instagram and that's it i'm gonna go love ya bye <laughs>